Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a last minute Halloween look. So this is uh, quite good if you've got your makeup on already from work and you're going straight out afterwards or you just don't have many materials with you. So this is the makeup I wore all day. So let's get into the look. So first I'm going to be using my Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter from Benefit. I already have it on from work but I'm just going to be intensifying it a little bit because it is a nude pink colour. So this contrasts quite well with my cheeks. So this is the kind of opportunity where you can wear your own kind of bright highlighter. There's loads of like iridescent ones out at the moment. You've just got funny colours like blue and green highlights. So this is going to really pull the look together at the end. So I'm just going to be putting that on the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to be reinforcing a bit of my bronzer and contour. Um, obviously I've worn it all day so I just want it to be a little bit more defined. And then I'm going to be using my Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. And I'm going to be using the darkest shade there called Ashes. And then putting it on the outer corners of my eyes just to create a little bit more definition. And it's just going to help to start off our smoky eye. And then blending that underneath as well. Next I'm going to be taking the black eyeshadow from the 35B Morphe palette. I'm going to be blending that onto my bottom lash line with a fluffy brush and then creating a bit of a winged out look with it. So I'm just pulling my skin taut to get that kind of winged look. And don't worry if it's not neat or kind of 100% accurate because it's Halloween and it's allowed to be messy and grungy. Next I'm going to be using my white MUA eyeliner. So I'm going to be creating our initial skull shape with this. So I'm starting from the top of the ear and creating the top of the jaw going all the way down to my mouth. And then I'm going to be creating a bit of a dip in the temple and then cre creating that back to the top of the jawline. The good thing about um, using a white eyeliner pencil is because you can kind of erase your mistakes. So you can see here it took me a few times to get the kind of shape I wanted on my forehead without it kind of looking like bubbles. So I got there eventually but it is really good that you can kind of start over as many times as you need. So we're going to be creating the bottom bit of the jaw now. So I'm using a reference picture from one of Crispy's skull tutorials. I'll link it below in the one I'm using because she actually does like more of a smoky realistic one. So I'm just creating teeth now. You want to make sure your eyeliner pencil is quite sharp for this part because they'll start to get a bit chunky like my one. So you want to keep sharpening your pencil in between teeth to make sure they're kind of really detailed and perfect. And then you're going to be finishing off the jaw creating that kind of sharp bit at the bottom. And then we're going to create a bit of a dip in the eye. So I'm using the natural dip of my eye socket to kind of follow it along. And then I'm going to be using some black eyeshadow uh, with a fluffy brush. I'm going to be filling that in the negative spaces around the white lines. So you want to try and avoid the white lines as much as possible. And you can use kind of different size brushes if you need to. You can see I'm using a bit of a smaller denser brush here to do the teeth area so we can kind of get a bit more definition and avoid getting over the white lines. And then I'm going to be using the kind of neon pink eyeshadow from the 35B. And using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that over the white lines that we've made. But you just need to make sure it's kind of blended into the black so it all kind of blends into one. Now 
Next, I'm going to be using the white liquid liner from NYX. And you can see here the neon effect starts to take shape. So you're basically just retracing over the initial white lines we made first. And this is a bit where you kind of just have to take your time. And I didn't actually have to go over the lines again because as the liner dried, it kind of absorbed a bit of the pink eyeshadow. So it all all melted into one so that was good as kind of one time application and I wasn't really happy with the amount of black I had on so I just added a little bit more on the cheek area and that should be what the finished skull looks like so I'm just going to be adding a bit of black gel liner onto my lips as black lipstick I don't have any black liquid lipsticks or lipstick so this is going to do just as well and then I'm going to finish off the eyes with some eyelashes I think these ones are girls with attitude in fantasy. And that is the finished look guys. So nice and kind of last minute. You only need two eyeshadows and a white eyeliner for this. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you're going as for Halloween this year. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.